Do you have to drop the trailer every time you charge? How much longer does it take to charge? Is it terrible charging while you're towing? What do you do if you can't charge while you're hooked up? These are all questions we'll answer in today's video. In 2022, we saw the first fully electric pickup trucks hit the road, and there's plenty of excitement in 2023 and 2024 as a whole new batch of electric trucks are said to be coming to production. If you're wondering how to navigate charging stations while towing, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Hi, I'm Steve, this is Katie. Welcome to our channel, All Electric Family. We share our electric vehicle adventures of towing, road trips, tips, and tricks with our awesome community of adventurers each week. If that sounds like something you'd enjoy, hit that subscribe button to join us. We'd love to have you follow along. Now, let's talk about charging while towing. One of the most common questions we get asked about towing with an EV is if we have to drop the trailer every time we charge. The simple answer is no, we don't have to drop the trailer every time. How often you have to drop the trailer depends a bit on what type of vehicle you're towing with. Cars that have a charging port located at the front of the vehicle tend to have to drop their trailers less often than cars that have their charging points located at the back of the vehicle. We have experience with both and would say you have to drop the trailer about half the time in a car such as a Tesla that has the charge port located at the back of the vehicle. While a car with the charge port at the front of the vehicle, you'll have to drop the trailer close to a quarter of the time. This number also fluctuates depending upon the location of the charger and how busy it is at that particular location. Sometimes a busy station won't allow for enough room for a car pulling a trailer. We also get asked how much time it adds dealing with the trailer while we're charging. If we have to unhook to charge, we have timed it out and found that it takes us about three to four minutes to drop the trailer and three to four minutes to get it hooked back up. So it adds a total of six to eight minutes at our charging stop to deal with the trailer. We have a weight distribution hitch. So if your trailer isn't as large and you have a more simple hitch setup, it will take less time, obviously. If we don't have to drop the trailer, there isn't any added time to our charging stops. Finally, we get asked if it's terrible to charge while towing, and our answer is no, it's really not. It's more stressful and annoying to get gas while you're towing, thinking about if the gas station awning is tall enough, if you can make the corner, worrying about hitting the pump with your trailer, and it's about the same for an EV. With planning and a shift in mindset, charging while towing is no more difficult than getting gas while towing. Here are some tips for making it easier to charge while you're towing. First, look ahead at the chargers you plan to visit. We like to go on Google Street View or Google Earth to get a good look at the charger's location and make a plan for getting in and out of the charger with our trailer. We can also get a pretty good idea of if we're going to have to drop the trailer to charge or not. This way, we know what we're getting into ahead of time. We also look at check-ins and photos on PlugShare to compare what we saw on Google. Using the images from PlugShare and Google, we start to get creative if there isn't an obvious way to charge without dropping the trailer. Sometimes we pull in behind the station to charge if the cord will reach. We have pulled up perpendicular to the station and charged on an install. If the station is out of the way enough, sometimes we pulled straight in because we aren't blocking traffic. We think a bit outside the box and find a way to charge without unhooking whenever possible. You might also be wondering if it's okay to block chargers, especially when you're towing to avoid having to unhook from the trailer. The answer is, we think so. As long as there are other chargers open and you are willing to move if all the other chargers fill up, go right ahead. So what do you do if you have to drop the trailer? The best thing to do is to find a quiet corner where the trailer is well out of the way and not in a high traffic area. Once you've located a safe spot, you can drop your trailer and go charge. Okay, when you're looking for a spot to drop the trailer, think about how you're going to use your trailer while charging. Is it an RV that you will need to open the slides? If so, be sure to find an area with plenty of room for your slides. We also recommend a coupler lock for your trailer if you're towing with an EV. This way, if you do have to drop your trailer in a parking lot or out of sight, it'll be there waiting for you when you return. We put a link to our favorite trailer lock in the description below. And that's all there is to it. If you have towed with an EV before, what tips do you have for someone who is considering towing with an EV? If you haven't ever towed with an EV before, leave any questions you have in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.